you might probably be thinking, how is a robotic arm move on its own? Or how it is being controlled? Like this one. Or this one. Hi, this is Teacher Seth. Welcome again to our robotics learning. In today's lesson, I will teach you the very basic way of controlling a robot motor or a servo motor. Let's get started. We're gonna use Tinkercad again as our simulation interface. Click circuits, then create new circuit. In this lesson, we only need three components. First, Arduino Uno, servo motor, and potentiometer. Since it is just an example lesson, you can put any resistance value for your potentiometer. Next, wirings. Our potentiometer has three pins. The first pin is for 5 volts power supply, and the third pin is for the ground. Make sure to change the wires to red and black color. The second pin is for analog signal. Connect it to the A0 terminal and change the color to yellow. Connect the first pin of the servo to ground and the second pin to 5 volts. Make sure to change its colors as well. Lastly, connect the third pin to digital pin 9 and change it to yellow. For the coding part, click variables, then create variables and type in sensor value. Drag the sensor value block then go to input and drag read analog pin. Now we need to determine the value of our output. By doing that, we need to go back to variables and create new variables. And type in output value. And drag set output value. Now we need to set a rotation value for our output. By doing that, we need to make sure that the rotation of potentiometer corresponds to the rotations of our motor. Go back to Math Sections and drag this Map to Range block and drag it inside the Output Value block. And drag Sensor Value inside this Map block. Our servo motor's rotations ranging from 0 to 180 degrees maximum, but we can adjust it depending on the range value that we put in this map block. Lastly, go to Output and drag Rotate Servo on Pin. And since our pin is connected to digital pin 9, we need to change the settings to 9 as well. Now drag this output value to this degrees block to identify the rotations of our servo motor. Now you're done! Click simulation to test if your project runs accordingly. Now that you know how to control the servo motor, this will apply the same thing in the actual components. Easy right? This was just a basic project and I know you can be more fluent. Develop your future by enhancing your robotic skills only here at Worthy AE.